District regular meeting of the Board of Trustees Tuesday, July 25th, 2023, 6 p.m. We do have a quorum uh, via remote is uh, Mr. Garcia, Mr. Rodriguez, uh, our Secretary of the Board, Mr. Martinez, uh, our Superintendent, Ms. Chavez, and myself. Uh, we're gonna follow up with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance by myself and invocation by Trustee Mr. Rodriguez. Please rise. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. We'll bow our heads. Dear Lord, we humbly ask that you bless the individuals present here this evening and those who are attending remote. We thank you for the abundant blessings we have received from you. We ask that it as our staff prepares for the upcoming school year, that you bless each of them and guide them to make the best choices for our students, particularly for those staff that are assuming a different role this upcoming school year. We ask that you guide the trustees of this district to make good choices tonight, solely for the best interests of our students and staff. Again, we thank you, Lord, for everything you've given us and continue to bless those individuals for we acknowledge their hard work and dedication to our district. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Uh, we're going to have a correction on the agenda. Uh, colleagues, I need a motion to accept a correction on our action agenda A, business office A1. I want this to be on the record that I uh, had advice from legal, and this is perfectly legal to do this. Uh, a, business office A1, discussion possible action to approve to advertise RFP number 05-17-23-390 for the specific aggregate medical pharmacy claim stop loss insurance. That was uh, inadvertently inserted. That's quite all right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and correct it with a motion that should say, discussion of action to approve RFP number 05-17-23-390 for the specific aggregate medical pharmacy claim stop loss insurance. I need to have a motion, please. So move. Okay, I have a motion for Mr. Rodriguez. May I have second. a second? Second for Mr. Martinez. Any discussion? Okay, there's no more discussion. We have a motion from Mr. Rodriguez, second by Mr. Martinez. All in favor by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed by saying nay? Okay, motion passes. Let's go back to uh, the order of the agenda. Superintendent's report A, presentation A1, SHAC, presentation by Christina Barrientes, SHAC president. Ms. Travis, please. Welcome, and, and, and we want to thank you for taking the time to come and inform and visit with us about next year's uh, plan. Oh, we did. We did. Uh, good evening, uh, Board of Trustees, Superintendent Chavez, Mercedes ISD personnel, and Mercedes community members. Tonight, I would, I would like to introduce Christina Barrientes, Chairman for the 22-23 MISD SHAC, who will be presenting on the overview of the School Health Advisory Council for this past school year. Thank you, Ms. Rebel. Good evening, Superintendent, Board President, Board Members, and Community. My name is Christina Barrientes, and I am the CHAC Chairperson for MISD. I am here to present to you an overview of the CHAC meetings that were held and recommendations made throughout the school year of 2022-2023. What is CHAC? CHAC stands for the School Health Advisory Council. It is a group that is appointed by the school district to serve the dis at a district level. Members of CHAC come from different areas of the community and from within the school district. This organization allows parents and community to voice their concerns on important topics that we must discuss. Texas law requires this establishment of CHAC to, for every school district. CHAC plays an important role in strengthening the connection between health and learning. They can help parents and community stakeholders reinforce the knowledge and skills that children need to stay healthy for a lifetime. Studies have shown that a healthy, active child is more likely to be successful in school and have healthy habits for their entire life. In 20, uh, the officers for the MISD CHAC for 2022-2023, Chairperson myself, Christina Barrientes, our Vice Chairman, yes, Ms. Yesenia Colunga, and our Secretary, uh, Joey Vasquez. 
The check is required to meet uh, four times a year, at least four times a year, and the dates are posted. Uh, November 16th, 2022, January 25th, 2023, March 29th, 2023, and May 17th, 2023. Our first regular check meeting was November the 16th, 2022. Nominations for 2022-2023 for officers for chairman, vice chairman, and secretary took place. We also had the topic that we discussed on fentanyl awareness. And this presentation was done by Mr. Kevin Hager from the U.S. Army. This presentation was provided to our parents with an overview of the dangers of fentanyl. It aided in reminding parents that we promote a drug-free and safe environment to our students and staff here at the district. By raising awareness, we can work towards mitigating the devastating impact of fentanyl and opiate crisis. We felt this was an important topic because of the fentanyl crisis that is occurring among our teenagers. The second regular check meeting was scheduled and was done on April, I'm sorry, January 25th, 2023. The nomination for the vice chairman took place. We also did a presentation on child abuse, family violence, dating violence, and sex trafficking, and was conducted by the Behavioral Health Solutions. Informational pamphlets and handouts were also available for all attendees. In this meeting, our goal was to provide members of the CHAC with information regarding child abuse, family violence, dating violence, and sex trafficking instruction in hopes to have a recommendation for the board to approve. Ms. Edwina Trevino informed parents of FACE, which is the family and community involvement. She announced activities and parent resources. Our third regular CHAC meeting was held on March 29th and presentations by Play It Safe, the Children's Advocacy Center of Hidalgo and Stark County, and Love 146 was presented on child abuse, family violence, dating violence, and sex trafficking curriculum. The CHAC committee discussed and proposed curriculum and recommendations regarding child abuse, family violence, dating violence, and sex trafficking instruction and recommendations for grade levels. CHAC committee voted to propose a recommendation to the board to approve the Play It Safe program for students in pre-K through 12th grade and lessons to be conducted by the Children Advocacy Center of Hidalgo and Stark County. On April 18th, 2023, a resolution was submitted to the board and on May 16th, 2023, the board approved the CHAC recommendation. These topics were discussed throughout the school year of 2022 and 2023 and were presented to you, the board, and we thank you for approving the curriculum Play It Safe by the Children's Advocacy on May the 16th, 2023. Our fourth and final meeting was on May the 17th, 2023, and the topic was how to stay safe in the summer, and that was presented by Mr. Paul Rodriguez, the MISD PE coordinator. He demonstrated different types of exercise and techniques that students and adults can perform indoor and outdoor to stay active during the summer. He also announced dates for the summer camps that will be offered to our students throughout the summer months. Ms. Ashley Del Villar, CNS Assistant Director, shared with the attendees a healthy eating snack recipe and tips for, a health, for healthy eating throughout the summer months. The CHAC overview has, um, the CHAC has invited parents and committee members to have a voice in ensuring that our students and staff are safe and healthy. Due to CHAC recommendations, the following positive outcomes have occurred. We added opiate antagonist medication to our elementary campuses. The district has adopted a child abuse, family violence, dating violence, and sex trafficking instruction for the new school year. The CHAC committee thanks you for your support. We also provided parents and all stake we also provide parents and all stakeholders with pertinent health information and discussion. This is an overview of what the MISD CHAC has provided. We would like to thank the committee for their support, and we hope to have more parent participation this upcoming school year. Also, we attach some, some pictures of our meetings throughout the uh, school year. Thank you. Any questions? Mr. President, can we come up and take a picture? Sure, absolutely. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Any comments, any questions, uh, colleagues? Just want to comment, Mr. President, thank you for the presentation. We know the importance of SHAC, and it, it, it has become increasingly important over mm -hmm. the last few years, and, and we look forward to your input and the rest of the uh, individuals that serve on the on the committee. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the effort, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Any comments? Any questions, colleagues? Thank you,
Uh, open for a public comment. For the record, we have uh, no one to sign up, so we move on to the uh, business. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sure. Just run through it one more time. One more time. Okay. Um, a business office. Uh, I'm going to need uh, two motions. First motion would be a, a corrective action on A1. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read the original one, and then we're going to vote to uh, uh, actually app ended right, change it up. So A1 discussion and possible action to approve to advertise RFP number 051-17-23-390 for specific aggregate medical pharmacy claims stop loss insurance. We need to have a uh, correction on that. It should read discussion possible action to approve the RFP number 05-17-23-390 for the specific and aggregate medical pharmacy claims stop loss insurance. So colleagues, I need a motion. So move. So I got a motion for Mr. Rodriguez. Second. For uh, Mr. Martinez. Uh, any discussion, colleagues? Okay, so there's no more discussion. We have a motion from Mr. Rodriguez, second by Mr. Ortiz. All in favor saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed by saying nay? Okay, motion passes. So we, let's go ahead and vote on the corrective one. So that's about right, Mr. Saldana? That's correct. Okay. So we have A, business office, A1, discussion of possible action to approve RFP number 05-17-23 dash 390 for the specific aggregate medical pharmacy claims stop loss insurance. Uh, Ms. Chavez. The administration recommends option one as noted in your tabulation. Okay, we have a recommendation from administration. May I entertain a motion, please? So moved. Okay, a motion from Ms. Rejo. May I have a second, colleagues? Second. Second, Ms. Martinez. Any discussion, colleagues? Okay, if there's no more discussion, we have a motion from Ms. Reichel, second by Mr. Ortiz. All in favor, saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? By saying nay. Okay, motion passes. A2, discussion, possible action to award uh, RFP number 06-12-393 for security guard services. Uh, Ms. Chavez, please. The administration recommends L4 security and prime time protection for security guard uh, services. Okay, we have a recommendation from Administration, may I, may I entertain a motion? So moved. Okay, we have a motion from Ms. Vallejo. Colleagues, I need a second, please. Second. Second for Mr. Martinez. Any discussions? Mr. Hernandez, just uh, some clarification on the roles between the two um, agencies, the, the, what will be there. Ms. Chavez. Okay, okay. Both, uh, both uh, companies do have their own uh, uh, vehicles to, to monitor and, yes. and uh, go around the district. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Harris, just for, for the record, for the clarity of it, uh, so the taxpayers will be uh, well aware of it, uh, that's, my logic is to curtail any overtime, correct? Correct, and we're looking at the benefit of uh, personnel for the extensive uh, volume of uh, activities that we offer district-wide. Right. And we'll be complying with both companies, correct, as far as to the new house bill? Yes. Okay, any more discussion, colleagues? Okay, if there's none, then we have a motion from Ms. Reichel, second by Ms. Martinez, all in favor saying aye? Aye. aye. Any, anyone opposed by saying nay? Okay, motion passes. Uh, moving on to A3, discussion and uh, possible action to reject CSP number 07-10-23-395 for a district-wide fencing project. Ms. Travis. The administration recommends the approval as presented. Uh, the administration will be working at facing the end this project uh, based on affordability and our availability of funding uh, to break it up in different phases. Okay, guys, we have a uh, recommendation from Edmund. admin. May I entertain a motion? So move. Okay. 
A motion for Mr. Rodriguez, second by Mr. Garcia. Any discussion? Okay, there's no discussion. We have a motion for Mr. Rodriguez, second by Mr. Garcia. All in favor by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed by saying nay? Okay, motion passes unanimously. Uh, B, facilities. B1, discuss the possible action to approve the construction project ex expenses. Excuse me. 1A, uh, Real Roofing Incorporated, pay uh, application number seven for the roofing replacement at Mercedes Early College Academy. Ms. Chavez. Hello, Mr. Rodetta. How are you, Hello. sir? Hello. Good evening, uh, Superintendent Ms. Chavez and Board President, uh, Mr. Hernandez, trustees. Uh, before you, you have a payment application from your roofing, uh, number seven, in the amount of $104,405. Uh, this is for the Mercedes Early College. Uh, this is for the material store as of July 7th, and it is for the skylights. Uh, now, the skylights have been installed, uh, and they're uh, in, in, have been fully installed, so they're in place. Uh, and the next step would be uh, the walkthrough and the checklist that uh, Robert Kitchen will conduct uh, to finalize all projects uh, complete. <clears throat> this would be like a final punch list? Yes, they will, they will create the punch list uh, for all three projects and uh, do the walkthroughs with uh, us, with Mercedes ISD and uh, Real Roofing and Robert Kitchener. So on this payment, Mr. Herrera, just for clarity, it is solely for the storage yes. of those skylights and the installation? Correct. Because everything else had been completed. It was just that that was pending, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So at that point, they had just stored the material. Okay. <coughs> that was like three or four weeks ago. Now they have completely installed it. Mm -hmm. And we were not able to check it inside, but it it's safe to say it's 98 percent completed yes okay. but that's just for the materials if you look at the second sheet there's a balance uh and that's um once the project is totally complete that that amount will be submitted uh, okay as a payment application yes because i see that balance of the 234 so what else is pending because i know in the previous meeting you had told us that it was all complete we were just pending the skylight and that pressure We're test. Two things: skylights and crossover ladders. The skylights, are, as of today, not at the time that that was certified, but as, as of today, is completed. But the contractor is waiting for the two sets of crossover ladders. Uh, that is really an upgrade because we had in the drawings, in the, in the construction documents, we, we had put that they had to replace the mounting brackets, mm -hmm. but uh, the contractor. While they were there, they, they made the decision out of their own pocket to replace ladders, and rather than mounting them on the walls, to mount them on, on, on curbs, because they were concerned that the, that the, that the stucco, that there might be problems in, in, in the future between the stucco that might allow water to go into the building. So out of their, they made an upgrade out of their own pocket. Okay, so that would be the only thing we have remaining? Yes, okay. correct. Okay, any more discussion, colleagues? Okay, so uh, I need a, we have a recommendation for our admin. Uh, may I entertain a motion, please? So moved. Okay, I have a motion for Ms. Vallejo. Second, please. Second. Second for Mr. Martinez. Okay, if there's no more discussion, we have a motion for Ms. Vallejo. Uh, second by Mr. Martinez. All in favor of saying aye? Aye. aye. Anyone opposed to say nay? Okay, motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Lillard. Thank you, sir. Okay, next item, this is our business. Uh, C, governance. C1, discussion possible action to award legal services RFQ number 06-08-23-392. I need a motion, please. So moved. I move to award RFQ to Washington Angeles. Okay, I have a motion from Mr. Garcia. Second. Second for Mr. Martinez. Oh, Mr. Rodriguez, I apologize. Apologize there, Mr. Rodriguez. I guess I'm getting old, right? <laughs> okay, any discussion, colleagues? Okay, there's no more discussion. We have a motion from Mr. Garcia. 
Uh, second by Mr. Diaz. All right, sir. All in favor by saying aye. 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 Anyone aye. opposed by say day? Okay, motion passed. Okay, consent agenda. I guess I'll start from my my right. Uh, Ms. Vehicle? Yes, um, A1. Okay, A1. I do not have one. Mr. Martinez? I'm good. I can go back if you want. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez? I also have a question on A1, but in addition, A2. A2. Uh, Mr. Garcia? No, sir. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so I have A1 for Ms. Vallejo and uh, Mr. Rodriguez, A2. Okay, so colleagues, I need a motion to accept the consent agenda in all entirety except A1 and A2. So moved. Okay, motion from Ms. Vallejo. Second from Mr. Garcia. Any discussion? If there's no more discussion, we have a motion from Ms. Vallejo. Second by Mr. Garcia. All in favor of saying aye? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed by saying nay? Okay, motion passed. Let's go to A1. Uh, consent agenda A, uh, curriculum and instruction. Uh, discussion possible action to approve the consulting agreements above 10,000. Uh, Ms. Bay. Yes, I have a question regarding A1 and the consultant agreement um, in the amount of 77,000. Let's see. 77,200. And um, I see here that they provide professional development, the licensing for uh, grades 6 through 12. I would like to inquire how long we have been serviced by them. If there's teacher feedback, how effective has it been? I'm going to ask the uh, director for elementary education and secondary uh, to please come up. Welcome, ladies. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Good Hello. evening, board president, Ms. Chavez, uh, board members. Uh, Agile Minds will be our new curriculum for secondary, 6 through 12. Uh, before the end of the year, towards the end in May, Mr. Macario Mejia, our previous uh, math coordinator, had met with the secondary teachers and also the administrators. And he presented, different, or we had different uh, companies come in with secondary math curriculum. So this came from the, the, that group of teachers that met. They were the ones that chose Agile Minds. Okay, and do we have any neighboring school districts that have been using this? Um, what their, I, I, I don't what know. What their course right or their performance? The uh, communication room, if, if you recall the uh, item where we brought the elementary curriculum, uh, this would be the extension and parallel of that initiative to be able to move to the secondary schools. Uh, the uh, curriculum that we're looking at is a TA approved curriculum. Just as we saw at the elementary level, uh, the fact that that curriculum is going to qualify under the instructional allotment for the district to be able to secure the additional funding. Uh, as a district, if we don't have that approved curriculum, it's not one that is in alignment with uh, state assessment. And uh, we had that conversation at the elementary level. So this is actually now the uh, counterpart of that curriculum that we're going to be recommending for the secondary schools. OK. OK. Um, I, as Ms. Chavez mentioned, for the state assessment, I did log on to, to our TA and looked at our current scores that are provided on there for district-wide, campus-wide, and it was pretty alarming. Just want to make sure that we are going to be tracking student performance, the growth, if it's going to be something that's going to work for the district, just to make sure that we have that in place because we need to keep the students' best okay. interest and we want them as best prepared as we can and get, have them as prepared as possible for post-secondary. Yes, ma'am. Actually, this morning we met with Ms. Chavez, so we already have a plan in place for progress monitoring by six weeks. By six weeks. Yeah. Okay. So, and we're meeting with principals. Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving us that challenge. Yes. Uh, the question I had, uh, uh, thank you, was regarding item two, the NWEA, the MAP uh, testing. 
And I know it's important, particularly for those teachers that uh, are not in a tested area. We need, we need to see how they're progressing. Uh, but I just wanted to see how well aligned NWEA is to Texas standards, because I know there's a national influence on this particular test, and how we will address areas that maybe teachers don't cover that the test has questions on. Are we able to eliminate certain questions and adjust it, kind of, kind of customize it to our, to our needs, to the way teachers have taught it? Is that something that's within the component of this test? So I am familiar with maps that I've used um, elsewhere, mm -hmm. and it does provide very detailed reports, and yeah. it does group the students by the area of need, and it's very specific. Um, and the teachers can, you can run it by teacher, you can run it by grade level, you could run it by class period, so it's, it's very detailed and, and exactly pinpointing what the student will need. That aligns to our teams. Okay, so right there. Okay. This also has different components that we're meeting by using MAP. Uh, we're addressing TIA. There's a seventh grade uh, reading uh, indicator screener that we have to do with our kids. Uh, our kinder fluency screener. So it's, it's helping us meet several of the requirements right. by going and, with MAP instead. And I'm over other districts. Uh, colleagues, I need a motion, please. So moved. Okay, I have a motion from um, Ms. Rahel. Uh, I need a second, please. Second. Second for Mr. Rodriguez. Okay, if there's no more discussion, we have a motion from Ms. Rahel, second by Mr. Rodriguez. All in favor saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed by saying nay? Okay, the motion passes. Thank you. Uh, on to A2, uh, discussion of possible action to approve the implementation of the innovative courses for TSTC cohort. 2023-2024 school year. Ms. Chavez. Uh, or Mr. Any discussion, colleagues? Okay. The question I had, uh, I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Garza and Ms. De La Fuente. Uh, I'm, I want to, number one, a comment. I'm excited for what the students are going to be participating in because I see here architectural design, engineering, graphics, those are, those are the kind of things that, you know, we, we want our kids to be involved in, number one. Which campuses will be taking advantage of this? Of Mom these and Mercedes. Yes. Well, I think all, all three, three of them. them. All, all three? three of them. Okay. Yes. All right. So number one, uh, congratulations and kudos to, to the efforts of trying to increase the, the offerings, uh, particularly in a, in a, a complex uh, technological uh, class that these students will be taking and um, I'm hoping that they do well and we push as many kids to to participate in this as possible thank yes. you and prior to the end of the year we did recruit students so we did do a survey Good. of all of our 10th graders we did recruit them we got them signed up before we left and then mr. Garza is bringing in TSTC during registration so that we can try and recruit some more Great. even the first week of school they'll still be there trying to recruit more students in TSTC on, on site, great, Yes. Mm -hmm. all right, good, okay. thank you. And uh, I was happy to see this. I know we've been really encouraging and uh, asking to bring more opportunities to our students, so I was happy to see this and look forward to opening up more opportunities with other courses for our students, thank you. Thank you to our you. secondary. Okay, any more discussion, colleagues? Okay. I need a motion to accept a recommendation from admin, please. So move. Okay, a motion for Mr. Rodriguez. Second, please. Second for Mr. I didn't hear Mr. Gracias. Second by Mr. Garcia. Thank you, sir. Any discussion, colleagues? Okay, so we have a motion for Mr. Rodriguez. Second by Mr. Garcia. All in favor saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed by saying nay? Okay, motion passes. Uh, thank you, Ms. Gracia, Ms. De La Fuente, and Mr. Garza, and Ms. Chavez, thank you. Okay, moving on, moving along on the agenda. Executive session A, personnel pursuant to section 551.074 of the Texas Government Code and attorney consultation pursuant to section 551.071 of the Texas Government Code. A1, resignation, termination, appointments, evaluation, reassignments, duties, and discipline of professional, paraprofessional, non-contract employees, teacher substitutes, substitutes for maintenance, transportation, and cafeteria department. A2, discussion, consideration to employee director of human resources. B, student discipline, 
discipline, sorry, pursuant to section 551.082, school children, school district employees, disciplinary matter of compl or complaint and 551.0821 of the school board. Personally identifiable information about the public school student. C, discussion private consultation with attorney regarding pending or contemplated litigation settlement matters and or matters where the professional duty under state board requires private consultation with school attorney. It is 6.34 p.m. and we are in executive session.